We all got off at the wrong bloody stop, didn't we? Professionals. Who are the professionals who stayed on the train? Empty call, cool, Aaron. That is, uh, that is a very good look. That's a look right there. You need to get off the train this time, though, mate. MT was too big, too busy, just being very, very rich. Silent guns. Why silent for anyone else? I understand. I was maybe a bit quiet. Should be coming through. Did we? Did we just come down? We just came down the wrong one, didn't we? My sense of direction has really abandoned me. I'm afraid. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if Crow wants to pay us a visit later today as well. Probably found somewhere to go off to sleep. The NPCs have decided to wake up. They're all attention waiting for you, awesome. Right, I am gonna go and hopefully grab a cider out of my fridge. And then we will crack on with it. Look at all the the people lined up in neat <laughs> neat rows. They knew we were coming. That's a little bit creepy. That is a, just a little bit, little bit creepy. Right, right. Go grab a beer. I feel I deserve one at this point. attempt a best strip, just pulling out every excuse to pull out my, uh, sorry, the plushies are coming out. What is it about you lot and plushies? Come on. Right, are we ready for our first question? Nicotine. 
since we've got a nice up close picture of my face. I guess it's time to go to the first question. If I find the correct Asia. Word document, I scribble going way over. Okay. Question one of the first inaugural pub quiz. What is the SCU capacity of a Hercules C2? And I'm looking for the brochure number here, not the answer to how many SCU boxes can Tac Pandas stuff into a C2. It's how many are meant to fit. Hey, this is going to be a, this is a little bit of a trick question in here. This is the one to test who's using Google. Really quiet. Because I don't expect anyone to get it on the money. And this is going to be points awarded to the closest answer because nobody should be using Google. What is the max afterburner speed of a Crusader Mercury Star Runner? The points will be awarded to the closest guess. But if someone gets it bang on the money, I'll be suspicious. Question four. How many seats are there in a Drake Cutlass Steel? These weren't even my nasty questions. Before, <laughs> before or after it hits a planet. I like that one. I like that one because that could have been either in relation to the MSR question or the uh, or the Drake Cutlass Steel question. <laughs> it, it, it worked. It worked for both track. It worked for both. Question five. Which of these three ships has a higher stock DPS? An Asperia Talon, an Aegis Gladius, or an Anvil Arrow? So that is stock, so it's just the parts that the ship comes with before you've made any modifications. Question six. Which manufacturer makes the Custodian SMG? My personal favourite gun. Particularly the blue one MT Cool and Skylancer conspired to make me buy off the grey market. Was that question, say question six again? Question six was which manufacturer makes the custodian SMG. Question seven. Which of Stanton's planets has the fewest moons? That's which of Stanton's planets has the fewest moons? Oh, sorry, we've got a stirring Krug. He might make a make an appearance soon. Question eight. The Olympic class 
is a variant of what ship or a version of what ship that's the olympic class is a version of what ship okay so i need to slow down sorry there'll be there'll be an option at the end of the 10 questions you can shout out any questions you want repeated And even better, I'll put a copy-paste picture of them up in, in the chat. It's quite hard, it is quite hard doing a pub quiz without being able to see any of the people in the pub. That's, that's one of the things I'm, I'm learning doing this. Right, are there, are there any questions people particularly want repeated? Shout them out. Hey there. Hey there. One second, all right? I'll crack on with the next one, but if you want any, if you want any questions repeated, just... Hey there. Pop the number in chat. Sure thing. Hey I will stick a uh, copy paste of them all up after the ten questions. So question nine: The landing zone Delamar was removed from Stanton in three point twelve. So this is one for people who've been around a little bit longer. But what was the ship shop at Delamar called? So what was the name? Of the ship shop hey there. at Delamar. That is a very good question, Drac, to confirm. Question five will be guns, pilot control guns, not missiles. But question nine. The landing zone Delamar, which was removed from Stanton in 312 to make way for Crusader, had a ship shop. What was it called? And finally for this round... Question 10. The Voyager bar is at what major landing zone? At which major landing zone will you find the Voyager bar? Thanks. Questions, questions 1 to 10 are now available in the general chat, should you wish to take a look at them. And like I said, on question 3, um, I'm going to give it to the, the closest guess. And question 5, which ship has a higher stock DPS, an Isperia Talon, an HS Gladius, or an Anvil Arrow? That's going to be down to the pilot control guns, not missiles. Right. While you have a bit of time to go through those, I will quickly work out how to screen share the picture round.
Right. Can never be now sort of see by screen. Should have switched over to screen share, hopefully. Nice. Of course, you can confirm. What would you like to confirm, Sly? No, no. You can have until the end to think about and peruse. You can just send me over one document with all 30 of your answers. Wiggle the mouse a bit, make sure I don't fall out. Okay, so the picture round, round two of our quiz, is going to be effectively name that ship. So hopefully we're starting nice and easy. So this is question 11. Yeah, the message board is a bit delayed, unfortunately. I need to, I need to do some tweaking on the whole streaming front before I get really back into it with 3.18. So again, I will post a document with all of these in so that you can see them up close a little bit more. But what I'm looking for is the ship name. I will accept it with or without the manufacturer. But I will insist that it is the right variant where that makes a difference. There is one where I'm not sure that that's possible. It's possible from the picture, so in that case I will accept any of the variants. So that one is question 11. Some of these get a little bit obscure, but this here is question 12 in the pitch around. Looking to name that ship. The thing which is close up in the view, not the ship I might have been unable to clip out of the background. So whatever is in the very foreground of the picture, I think that's the only one where you can see something in the background. It's a bit like I once saw a uh, a kid on a like talent show who was able to name whatever football team it was by just seeing the collar. This is the sort of idea here. So which one's this? This is 12. Right. Moving on to 13. You will get all of these to look through at your leisure later. Question 13. Name that ship. Confirm the ship or the buggy, please. It was the buggy. Yeah, the thing in the foreground, like that your face is right up against. Am I still going too fast? Do I need to slow down a little bit? Or are we ready for the next question?
next one up. I think we've I think we've had enough time with that. Some of these are a little mean. But this is why you should get on as many ships as you possibly can. I highly recommend coming to some of the uh some of the nights where like Astro and Ben take you through sort of boarding ships because they that will get you around a lot of different ship types. It would be really important in 318. So that one is 14. Someone Moving on to question 15. Name that ship. Little clue, little clue. One of my favorites, still one of my favorites. Right, eh? all of these will be back up after the after the round is over. And what I'll do is I'll leave you with the questions at the very end. I'll give you ten minutes after the uh, after the quiz is over while I go round and judge the best drip competition. So next up in the picture round, name that ship. I actually really enjoyed going round and taking these slightly obscure pictures. You notice that a lot of the ships in Star Citizen have some, have some incredibly cool fidelity and cool little detail and lines. You can find a lot of niches in them to make really cool screenshots out of. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ben, it doesn't count as watch time. It's unlisted. But this would be a genius way to farm watch time, to be fair. But I'd, I'd be a lot slower. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't list your videos, no watch time. Although, Ben, I'll be shocked if you don't get this question. Just saying. <laughs> that would just remind me there was a Twitter account called Boring James Milner which was a parody of the footballer James Milner, who, uh, but it was basically just like, James Milner went to Sainsbury's and I bought some bread and ham and made myself a sandwich. That was the quality of the tweets. Moving on. Which one are we up to now? Check my little key. So this should be number 17. Question 17 overall. Ah, 
I don't want any smart comments about how many of these ships happened to be lying around me at various points today. As you know, this quiz was put together at somewhat short notice. It was done in more of a rush than my university dissertation, which is saying something. Question 18. These are all ships, just name that ship. I think we should, right, I'm just looking at what it looks like. The, the overlay's clipping out the bit, which will probably give people the biggest clue. Honestly, one of the like low key features I really look forward to in SC is uh, I really look forward to like being able to actually put shit on on shelves like this. Like when you actually get a chance to uh, to choose what goes up there. I don't know why. I never thought I was an RPer, but it turns out maybe I am a little bit of an RPer. So. I think that's a semi-obvious one, so I'm going to move on. Now, this is the one where I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if it's identifiable as a variant. Just by... Just by looking at that. So, in this instance, I will accept any... Uh, any of the variants. I think there are a lot of movies which involve paying people to do stuff, to be fair. Yeah, that's it. I also like that's it's it's one of the things which like really makes me look forward to. I think I think the point we might get it sooner, and I think the point more players might actually use it is like player housing. And I, I'm not talking about like building bases because I I don't think that's coming for a really long time. But you know, um, having like some sort of instance department, I think that could be really cool. Sorry if I drift off into the distance at any point. We've got we've got an unwelcomed visitor in our house in the form of a mouse who I'm trying to catch. Although uh my wife has named her Cinderella because she appears at midnight. Fuck all about this. But in a way, she's quite cute, so I've got, got some very humane mouse traps down. Alright, that's enough of a uh, tangent into my, my current trails. It's almost going for the mouse trap though, so I'm quite excited. I believe this is the last one in the picture round. Number 20. Should have been clear, name that ship, but it also means vehicle. Name that vehicle. It's 
There's one incredibly bold mouse, though. It's literally just running around, <laughs> like, in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think Skelly and Sider will probably beat you to tossing Pico's ground ships. Persistence or no, they're trying them right now. Right, that's the end of the picture round. And look at this! Of course, there's plushies all around me. Somebody's already had a bit too much to drink. Don't know what is going on over here, but it's definitely not safe for pre watershed viewing. I like how you guys set dress in that. Yeah, I don't even know what Chrome's upgrade is. Second, all right? Nah, I'm pretty sure Chrome agreed to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey, you can't be. Right, so I will go ahead and post. Right, so that one covers questions 11 to 20. We got 10 more questions. Then we're going to have a look around and judge best drip. Right, don't worry, MT. We all saw how fantastic you looked. You're definitely, definitely a benchmark for best trip, I would say. What have we got going on? That's a pretty good look, particularly clutching a Pico. That guy's still doing whatever he's doing to a Pico. I'm a bit worried that we're going to get labelled plushy enthusiasts, though, guys. <laughs> to think this through. Right. On with the quiz. So, question 21. Which of these trading commodities has a higher value? I'm looking for a straight up purchase price. Is it Laronite, Maze, or Agrisium? So that's which of these trading commodities has a higher value, Laronite, Maze, or Agrisium? Just to avoid any confusion, I'm saying trading commodities because this is what would you go to a trading console and buy them for as opposed to what are they worth if you mine them, refine them, and sell them. So that's question 11. Which trading commodity has a higher value, Laronite, Maze, or Agrisium? Question 12. Which terrorist faction from Pyro Invaded Stanton in patch 314.
yeah, Ben Ben wouldn't know anything outside of combat because all he does to make money is say that he didn't get the money I sent him. Alright. Oh, just send another five million loud. I didn't get that. So that was question 22. Which terrorist faction from Pyro invaded Stanton in patch 314? Question 13. The Ballista, Centurion and Spartan are all examples of what weapons platform? What is the platform called? Oh yeah, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. That's what he says, isn't it, Sly? You just go ahead and buy it and I'll pay you back. I'm just amazed. He asked me for a hundred... He, he was asking for a hundred grand earlier. And I gave him a million. And then when it came time to buy a couple of tanks, he was just like, I don't have any money. I was just like, what did you buy? Right, question 13, just to repeat that though. The Ballista, Centurion, and Spartan are all examples of what weapons platform? It's all right, Ben. I've got a debt book, and you owe it all in 318. Worms got a laugh to teach you out of mine. You'll be like, can I have Legion's budget? I'll be like, whoa, nah. You're overdrawn for the year, mate. <laughs> hey, Aaron, do you want another carrot? Yeah, we're all looking forward to Ben's. Might have to have a drive. Let's have a bit of a drive. You're not sub to Master Ben's channel. Because you know, one is genuinely really good content. I really enjoyed listening to the uh, chat and Sly, even if he slacked off my beloved Drake Cutlass. But uh, but also, you know, at 1K subs, we get to see him doing a mining night. So that'll be funny. At 20k subs, you might see me doing a box delivery. Question, recap on question 13. That's the Ballista, Centurion, and Spartan are all examples of what weapons platform? Right, question 14. How many bullets are there in an FS9 magazine? So that's question 24. How many bullets are there in an FS9 mag? Yeah, there's a few more than seven. Do you know what my biggest regret of today is? My biggest regret is that I did not buy two beers. That is the only failing I can really think I made.
Although probably if I want to make it to the 2 a.m. event, probably it's a good thing I didn't buy more than one beer. <laughs> While enough is kind of correct, I'm looking for the technically correct answer. So yeah, that's question 14. How many bullets are in FS9? regret is not ramming Skelly in the race. That was a beautiful moment that I, I regret nothing about that moment at all. And also, I beat you. any technicalities so yeah question 14 how many bullets are held in an fs9 magazine when it is full not you know 42 after i shot x amount of them <laughs> sorry question 24 yeah sorry i got it i got it written out as 20 questions and then i stuck the picture around in the middle sorry Yeah, Tint, who did win the uh, who did win the races? I can see you from all the way at the back where I was. Oh no, front of the middle. It felt like I was at the back because I hadn't seen anyone for a really long time. Question twenty-five. What is the SCU capacity of a Banu Merchantman? And I know someone might be clever and write nothing because my BMM still isn't in game. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what have they said the SCU capacity of a Banu Merchantman is going to be. Oh, MT. MT just got himself an extra ticket. He brought me a drink. Wait, he did bring me an extra drink, didn't he? No, he brought me a... Brought me some boots. I mean... Just saying. You're holding a drink. <laughs> I would put the boots on, but I'm not sure I got any other clothes, and then it becomes a stream of me in nothing but my boots, and that's a little weird, like, not gonna lie. It's working, I have to see. Yeah, I know, okay, so I've slowed down too much. It's because I drank a beer, Dad. That's pretty much it. I'm a total lightweight. Okay, uh, question 60, uh, 26, 26. Uh, during the Siege of Horizon event, what's the first platform you arrive at for the mission start? What's it called? So you leave from the top of the Crusader Industries building, you take the shuttle, what's the first platform that you get to? So that's during the Siege of Origin, what is the first platform you arrive at for the mission start? Mild. Uh, 
Mission 26, Siege of Horizon, what's the first platform you arrive at for the mission to start? Question 27, we're nearly there. Which refinery offers the best yield bonus for Laronite? Yeah, I thought I was going to say Quantanium, but no. Which refinery offers the best yield bonus for Laronite? Were you paying attention to those PDF documents that I meticulously put together? Or did you go, no, there's nothing to mine that's worth more than Quantanium, so I'm just going to do that? That's question 27. Which refinery offers the best yield bonus for that? Not then. Yet. Question 28. How much does an anvil hurricane cost in game? Again, this is one which I will accept. Like, if nobody gets it quite bang on the money, I will accept the closest answer. And they will get the point. So that's how much does an Anvil Hurricane cost in game for a UEC? Question 28. How many how much does an Anvil Hurricane cost in game? Question 29. How many planets, not moons, how many planets are there in the Pyro system? Again, scheduled to be in the Pyro system, not there are no planets because Pyro isn't here yet. <laughs> so that's question 29. How many planets, not including moons, are there in the Pyro system? That's our penultimate question. How many planets, not moons, are there in Pyro? Question 30. It's at this point that I would like to take a moment to remind you that you are not meant to be using the internet to formulate your answers. And just for any who was on during the racing, this is the question 7 that I moved because it was the most bastardish question that I came up with. This area is a no-go zone. So question 30. Keep in mind that you've got 10 minutes and that I will copy and paste these into the right. chat. But to the nearest 1,000 credits, and assuming a price once refined of 88 credits per unit, and that you use a 95% yield refining technique, how much is a 7,000 mass 49% containing rock? You do not have to deduct your refining costs. That is, to the nearest 1,000 credits. What do you want? Assuming a price once refined of 88 credits per unit and that you use a 95% yield refining technique, how much is a 7,000 mass 49% continuum? This will separate the professional miners from the amateurs. That is quite a mouthful to say. Those questions are coming up in general challenges now.
answers for those questions are uh, I'm really sorry as I mentioned <coughs> I wrote these as 20 questions and then I put in the picture round so just ignore the numbers I put against them so they are rather than being 11, 12, 13 they are 21, 22, 23 have until 1.30 for people to complete their uh, to complete their answers. But in the meantime I'll be going around and judging the best trip. to give an exact to the credit answer to him, then that is allowed. I'll basically, I'll just make it a nearest guess, but like basically, yeah, that would be the one. It'll be, okay, so ditch them to the nearest thousand, I'll just, if nobody gets it back on the money, then we point to go to the closest. Okay, MT, MT, no, you're definitely in the front of me. That is a good look. I'm liking this. What what shirt are you wearing, Ryan? Who are you wearing? It's a bold. It's a bold choice. Aaron, Aaron, you've gone understated, but I like it. And extra points for all of the emotes. Sky, I have to say, extra points for incorporating the Illuminalia gifts. CIG told us they would be useful this time and there would be no handle bars and pop pop ones. Okay. Sky has in fact proven that they are useful. Well appreciated. Drawstring, that is some very dapper. This is very definitely the attire of a man who owns, owns a uh, Gabriel Ride in uh, 600 yards. This is very origin. I like it. But Blizz, this is very Drake. And I also like it. This is nice. What jacket is that? I need to get myself a jacket with some neon green strips. So you forgot. As, as generally when people are very well dressed they forget how garish most of the skins I enjoy are so this is good this is a good look this is this is much like the look that Mrs. Gunn selected actually when when I took her around Stanton good job Sly Megan, that is a good look. Extra points for actually having stood through the um, stood through ordering drinks at the bar. Well done. Ken Vowed. Everybody loves this jacket. I, I'm not going to knock it. I quite like this jacket as well. This is a good party jacket. Oh, pity the fools. You did just get yourself in the running because you know I like accessories and I particularly like cruise lux. So But he's definitely in it. Wearing armor to a party is quite the uh quite the statement, Nick. He brought a backpack, which indicates that maybe he brought extra snacks, so... Oh, 
don't know where he's Phil. You get to participate because, you know, you're here. So this is all part of participating. Nick, if you can pull something good out of your backpack, you may be getting the running for having come prepared. But I don't think we're going to get anything out of that backpack. I think the backpack's all for show. Is this, is this person who is very well gunned in our party? It doesn't like me moving behind him. That looks a little bit... A little bit sketched out by whatever's on the go here. Feral Badger, that's bold. Oh... Her blush. Right. Badger. A good emote use. You got in. You timed that incredibly well. <laughs> Nick. You try to get on my good side by bringing, uh, bringing food and drink in the bottle, aren't you? Okay, you get points for trying. Yeah, Badger flirted with me. That's a um, that's something I didn't expect to happen this evening. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Good luck. Very good luck, sir. Can you pull anything out of your backpack if you bring a bag to a party? You better have something good in it. Is that gift for me? We'll give him a bit of time because there is a bit of a stream delay here. I I feel I feel that the lack of pants added to that particular look. Okay. And as I stated, I am not qualified to to, uh, to judge a best dress competition really. Definitely a good look. I feel I feel that Norse was trying to put down that gift for me, and frankly, none of the rest of you brought me a present. So, so Norse definitely. What can I get you? Alright, oh, thank you. There we go. Scally. This look is, this is a bold look, and I love it. Those boots with that jacket, they shouldn't work, but somehow they do. Oh, Ryan, probably he did bring some lashes. Uh, but then you pocketed the plushies as opposed to giving them to me. See, Norse brought me this present. It's mine. You just put that plushie away in my face. Mm. Mm. I'll accept it. Atlas brought the drugs. Have I missed anyone? Does anybody need to get into the best dress competition? Since I am categorically unqualified to dress the best dress competition, to judge the best dress competition, everything I have seen gets an extra ticket. But my absolute favourite one... I have to say, I have to say, it was no birth. You're the first to bring me a present, so you get an extra extra ticket for being the first person to bring me a present. See, 
everybody put a lot of effort into their looks, but mostly were the first thing of bribery, and I appreciate it. So, so there we go. So everybody who I can see who has demonstrated themselves for best dressed gets themselves an extra ticket. Even Grana running up late. <laughs> In what I can only describe... What is this, Grana? Is this... This is some sort of... Sorry, I'm going to have to stall my plushie away. Right, I'm, I'm going to put it down, but nobody steal it. Is this some sort of future mechanics outfit that you've got to go here? How is it not bribery, Sly? It literally is bribery, but there's there's no law against it. So it worked. What can I say? Right. All uh if you guys could all get in a line. One so I can take a nice screenshot. And two so that I can remember who to give extra tickets to. That is much appreciated. Right. So that is the end of the quiz. We are drawing to a close here. So if the uh, people in charge, I missed a message. Just like, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I did miss a message. Uh, so if everybody who is in charge of writing their team's answers could possibly just send me those over. And I will go ahead and mark those at a later date. Well, by a later date, I mean a little bit later when I take a break. Um, but, and I, I will say this again because everybody's on different time zones. Uh, I will certainly write a message at the end of, uh, at the end of this event. Um, I think sometimes uh, it's a bit of a weird thing, but it's like sometimes when people can actually see you, it, it's a little bit easier to uh, use this naked fellow in a Discord now. So, so sometimes it's a. So that it comes across. You want a drink or something? When you can actually see the person say. So, thank you very much to everybody who has been involved. These events. Thank you to everybody who set them up and sort of put their work into getting this all together. Um, and thank you to everybody who has, who has been a part of what we built here. It is absolutely insane to think that we just we started a Discord one day. And we were like, yeah, a few of us enjoy playing this game, and we'll uh, we'll stick it up. And blown up into something with so many people um, involved. So many people have given up so much of their time that I think that sort of tells tells you a lot about um, about like, how important this is that we can build this in. Uh, so so yeah, I just I just want to say thank you very much. Um, I want to say it's amazing that we're at two years. Um, I look forward to three, four, five, six. So, uh, so yeah, thank you everybody for being involved. And I'll check back in with you on Discord in just a second. So, it's around 2, 2 a.m. What's the next event? What are we doing next? More rail guns? Excellent. It'll be fun. Alright, catch you all guys and catch you all
You want a drink or something? Hey, 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 what the hell do you think you're doing? Something. Yep, coming right up. 